I am Anil Kumar and now we will explore piecewise functions. In this particular video, we will try to find the equation for the given function and in the next video, we will consider the limits for the same function. The question here is, explain how the equation of the piecewise function can be written. So let's follow a method so that we can understand and write equation of similar piecewise functions. Now, when you observe this function, you could clearly see that there are two or three pieces, right? You could say three or four pieces. So one of the pieces is from minus infinity to minus two. So from minus infinity to minus two, that seems to be a straight line. And then we have a piece between uh, minus two to two, right? And that seems to be an absolute function. And from two to infinity, we have square root function. So basically, we could break it down into three different pieces, right? So, so that is first part. So we observe that there are three different pieces. So let's try to find out equation of each piece. So first, let us consider this straight line, which is from minus infinity to minus two. Now this point at minus two could be considered with the line, or with the absolute function. Since we have this point included on the right side also, I will include it into absolute function, correct? So, so we have a line here whose equation we can straight away find from slope and intercept. So let's take two points on this line. One of the point on this line is minus two, two. So one point, let's say P, is minus two, two and then another point Q, we can consider this point Q, this is point P for us, is minus four, four, right? So minus four, four is the other point. With two points, you can always find equation of the line. So we can find slopes, we slope M equals to Y2 minus Y1, four minus two, divided by X2 minus X1, minus four, minus of minus two, or two over minus two, that gives us minus one. Now we can find the y-intercept, so we have equation as y equals to minus x plus p. To find the y-intercept, we can use one of these points. Let us use minus two and two. So if I write minus two here, so I get two for y equals to minus of minus two plus b. And um, if I take it to the right side, so I get this is plus two, so it becomes zero equals to b, right? So b is zero, and therefore, I get equation as y equals to minus x. So y equals to minus x is my line, uh, which is from minus infinity to minus two. Now, let us consider the next function, which is absolute function, right? So what you observe here is in the absolute function, the function has been translated two units down and as far as the slope of the line is concerned, it is two, right? So we could say from uh, minus two to two, we could actually include these two points since these are filled in holes. We could write this as absolute value of two times x. Since absolute function has a slope of two here, right? And it moves two unit down, so we could write minus two, okay? Or you could again do equation of a line and get your equation. So that seems to be the equation for the absolute function. And the third equation which we have here is, looks like a square root function. So, so from, uh, let us say, uh, minus from two to infinity, it looks like it's a square root function, which has been translated two units to the right. So this looks like, uh, square root of x minus 2, right? At one unit away it is 1, so there is no vertical stretch or compression. So that gives you kind of, that is the kind of work which you need to do to find equation of each piece, right? Since I have limited space, I just cramped it, but you should really do it in steps, okay, as I explained you. Now, let us write down the function itself. So as we consider this into three pieces, we can say f of x is equal to these three pieces. The first piece is a straight line, minus x 
is the equation. So we say it is equals to minus x if x is less than minus 2. The second piece is the absolute function, so which is equal to absolute 2x minus 2 if x is greater than equal to minus 2 and is less than equals to 2. And the third piece is the square root function, so we'll write this as square root of x minus 2 when x is greater than Correct. So that is how you can write equation for this particular piecewise function. So I'd like you to go through this video, understand how we got it, right? And uh, then you can do similar questions. Now, as uh, uh, in addition to what we have done here, what your question now here is, you can find limit of the function as x approaches two. What is the limit of the function as x approaches two? what is limit of the function as x approaches minus 2 and explain the discontinuity. So let that be a question for you. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.